Hi there, in today's video you'll learn how you can create this amazing hoverboard animation in PowerPoint. To create it, we'll use a beautiful vector art and bring it to life with PowerPoint animations. First, you'll learn how to prepare your illustration for PowerPoint, we'll have to convert it into SVG, and next we'll divide it into separate groups, and animate them. Finally, I'll share a couple of advanced animation tricks at the end. Alright, let's start the interstellar journey. Here is some quick information about the illustration and colors that we will be using. Huge thanks to freepick.com for providing this wonderful illustration, link is in the video description. And here, on the right side, you can see the hex codes of the main colors that we will be using in today's tutorial. By the way, feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free, all of the information is in the video description. My PowerPoint version is Office 365 for Mac, and here are the most frequent shortcuts that we will be using throughout the tutorial. And here are the instructions that we will be following to create our beautiful animation. And if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe, so that you don't miss my future videos, thank you so much. Alright, so let's start by converting the illustration from EPS, to SVG. Once again, huge thanks to freepick.com. As you can see, the illustration is provided in EPS format, and in order to work with this illustration in PowerPoint, we have to convert it to SVG first. And for this task, I like to use the free online photo editor, PhotoP. Let's just upload the EPS illustration, and let's export it as SVG. Don't worry, if the illustration looks a bit different, we will clean it up later, in PowerPoint. Alright, so the illustration has been converted to SVG, and with that, we can mark the first step completed. Next, let's insert the illustration into PowerPoint, and let's clean it up. As you can see, the converted illustration looks quite different from the original. Don't worry, this is what usually happens when converting complex illustrations into SVG. We can still work with it, we'll just have to do a couple of adjustments. First, let's convert this illustration to shape, and let's ungroup it, so that we can select the individual parts. Now let me remove all of these bright bubbles, they were the highlights in the original illustration, but we don't necessarily need them so we can delete them, to simplify the illustration. As you can see, some of the illustration colors are looking different from the original. Feel free to adjust the colors or create your own looks. For example, we can fill this big circle with a white radial fill. To save some time, I have made a few more adjustments and now, the illustration looks like this. So from now on, let's delete this slide and use this one. Alright, and with that, we can mark the second step completed. Next, let's make sure that the different parts of our illustration are grouped into separate groups. This way, it will be much easier to animate the illustration. Now let me just hide everything in the selection pane and show you how I have grouped the illustration. And by the way, I'm using this dark blue color, for the slide background, here is the hex code. Okay. Now let me unhide everything, one step at a time, so that you can see, how the illustration is grouped.
Alright, so the illustration is finally ready for the animations, and with that we can mark the third step completed. Next, we'll start animating the ground, we will make it move. So first, let me hide everything in the selection pane, and let's just unhide the horizontal line. This is just a simple line, you can insert one, by going into Insert, Shapes, and choosing the Line tool. Now, let's make sure, that the line is selected, let's go to Animations, Path Animation, and let's click on, Line. We can drag the red bubble, to adjust the ending position of the animation. Let's make sure, that the line animation goes outside the slide. We can click on the, play from, button, to give it a preview. Now, let's make a few more animation adjustments, let's make sure, the animation starts with previous, let's leave the animation duration at 2 seconds, let's leave smooth start only, and if you have PowerPoint for Windows, move the smooth start slider to the maximum value, to get the best results. And for the repetition, let's set it to, until end of slide. Alright. Let's give it a preview on the full screen, and as you can see, we are getting this looping line animation. Nice. Now, let's just duplicate this line, a few more times, so that we have 4 lines in total. And let's send, all of these lines, to the bottom of the selection list. You can as well rename your lines. Next, let's make sure that we align all of these lines, so that they sit on top of each other. And now, let's just jump to the animation list, and let's make sure the animations start in the correct order. Currently, all of these four line animations are starting at the same time, let's use animation delays, to add some variation. For line number 2, let's add a delay of 0.5 seconds. For line number 3, let's add a delay of 1 second. And for line number 4, let's add a delay of 1.5 seconds. And now, let's check it out on the full screen. As you can see, all four lines are going down, one by one, and after that, repeating the animation. Nice, it looks like the ground is moving. Now, let me unhide the vertical lines, and let's see how the animation looks right now. By the way, we don't have to animate the vertical lines, only the horizontal lines are moving. You are making a wonderful progress, well done. Alright, let's just unhide the rest of the shapes, and let's mark step number 4 completed. Let's just keep the hoverboard beam hidden for now, we will animate it a bit later on. Next, we will animate the hoverboard, and make it float up and down. And as always, let me hide everything, and let's just unhide the skater, so that we can add animations easier. Let's make sure, that the skater is selected, let's go to animations, path animation, and let's choose line. And next, drag the red bubble, to adjust the ending position of the animation. The line doesn't have to be long, we just want a subtle animation. Now let's make sure, that the skater animation starts with previous, duration is 0.7 seconds. Let's leave smooth start and smooth end enabled, and let's check auto reverse. 
And let's set the animation delay to 1 second. And set the animation repeat, to until the end of slide. And now let's check it out on the full screen. And as you can see, the skater is successfully floating up and down. Nice. Alright, now let's just unhide everything, and let's check out the animation once again on the full screen. Nice. But, as you can see, the hoverboard beam has to be animated as well, so let's do that next, and let's mark step number 5 completed. So now, let's just hide everything, and let's unhide the skater and the hoverboard beam. Next, let's select the skater, and let's use the animation painter to paste the same animation from the skater, to the hoverboard beam. Now the hoverboard beam has the same up and down floating animation, as the skater does. Let's just add one more animation, to the hoverboard beam. Let's make it spin, with a spin animation. Let's make sure that the spin animation starts with previous, duration 0.5 seconds. Spin amount, a full circle, counterclockwise. Repeat, until end of slide. Alright, and now let's just make everything visible, and let's check it out on the full screen. The ground is moving, the skater is floating, and the hoverboard beam is spinning. Super nice. Okay, and with that, we have completed step number 6, and now let me show you, how you can make this animation even more advanced. Let me just show you, the first slide, where I have inserted some additional animations. As you can see, I have animated the skater hair, and as well the arms are moving up and down. To create these kind of animations, you would have to divide the skater into more separate parts. Let's jump to the selection pane, and let's unhide the parts one by one. So first, we have the skater torso. Next, I have added the left arm, and I have changed its center of rotation, so that it rotates, where the shoulder joint is. Please let me know if you would like to learn, how to change the rotation center in PowerPoint. And next, I have added the right arm, with a new rotation center as well. And finally, I have added some additional hair, as a separate shape, for the moving hair animation. Alright. So now, let's check out this advanced animation on the full screen. So to create the hair and arm movement, I have added both the floating up and down motion path animations, and the spin animations. Feel free to download these slides, and check out all of the exact animation settings in the animation list. Download information is in the video description. Congratulations my friends, now you know how you can create this wonderful hoverboard animation in PowerPoint. Feel free to download today's tutorial slides for absolutely free. And if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments below, what you would like to learn next. Thank you so much, and until next time.